the main job is to like keep the uni in check and so that the policies which the uni policy makers make are in, uh, are in alignment with the, what the student wants and not with their own personal benefits and yeah so it's a pretty integral part. Uh, just an opening question, could yeah. you please tell us your name, your degree, your year of study? So my name is Sayyad Ahmed Sabah. I'm a second year software engineering student at UC. Uh, and what's your campaign colour and slogan and campaign manager? My campaign colour is black. My slogan is Sabah for change. Your voice, your union, your choice. And my campaign manager is Ning Bao. Uh, and what's your favourite USU outlet? Uh, Univeros. <laughs> Nothing weird that. <laughs> How would you describe your politics in general? So, I would describe my politics with the political ideology of reformism. Yeah. So, I would, if I get elected, I would prefer incremental upgrades over like the existing system. So, I, I being a software person with a software background, I could like to describe my politics as incremental upgrades. So, I think like if I get elected for the role, I won't have enough time to make radical changes and change the entire system. I will make small upgrades. Like for, I talk about that in my policy, such as I will enhancing, I will be like enhancing student amenities for like, like increasing the number of water stations. So like we get more student gets clear water outlet, and yeah, I would like to, I would like to organize career counseling sessions. That's one thing I feel like USU is lacking at currently, so that student gets more career guidance and like work opportunities, casual work opportunities, yeah. Do you believe running as an independent candidate will increase your chances of winning? I think yes. To, uh, it, it, it may increase my chances of winning to a certain extent because I do not associate myself with any of the traditional factions. So I, I kind of bring something new to the table with my ideology of reformism. Um, so, what inspired you to run for USU? Why did you run for? Why are you running for board? So, a bit about myself. I am an international student from India. So I came here like last February, and when I came, the first thing I was I went to was like the welcome fest, and and there there was that was the first time I came to know about USU. So USU is this organization which which is like the heart of the student life. I looked around and I I I pretty much liked it. But yeah, but over the course of my time and talking with my fellow friends, I felt like there are certain key areas for improvement, like providing more career guidance and opportunities and more paid work opportunities. And yeah, more, more kind of a inclusion of the international students. So yeah, that, that motivated me to run for the board. Great. Um, I'll follow up on that and ask, why do you think it's the USU's role to have career guidance and job opportunities for students? I think uh, it's not particularly the USC role, but yeah, that, that being the center, student, center of student life, if USC does that, it will be like the next major, next major upgrade in like USC's work cycle. Um, and since you said you're not a part of any political party or faction, just wondering what role do you think politics play in decisions of the USC board? It, it, it plays an important role like political parties they, they have their own set of agendas, right? So they tend to like influence the influence the decisions of the board to align it with their own personal agendas. So that's one of the reason I ain't a part of any political party because I, I don't want to be influenced by any agenda and like, yeah, be bound to it. How do you think is USU beneficial for students? Like why is it an important organization? So, so USU has many important benefits. There is a tangible benefit to the student life. It organizes fairs, events, so yeah. So like it's like a break from studies and yeah, you, you get a sense of culture and belonging. Plus more importantly, the other important role of USU is like it advocates for like student uh, policy related student benefits and student welfare across the campus. Yeah, so, so USU is like a key player in telling the decision makers of university like what the students like and how to like align their policies with the welfare of the student and like their well-being. So USU plays a pretty integral part in like being the bridge between, bridging between the students and the lawmakers of the uni. Yeah. Do you think the USU itself, like if the USU has a role and influence in the university, 
But do you think there's anything the USU can do on its own, which which is can be of benefit to students? Yeah, USU USU can uh, can influence the uni to some extent. But yeah, you, you USU already does a bunch of things. But yeah, as I told earlier, the next major upgrade will be like providing career related guidance too, and like more work related guidance, like how to get casual jobs. For being me as an international student, getting a casual job was one like one of my concerns when I came here. So yeah, if USU provided a venue related to that, they just go in and you get all the information. So yeah, that will be good. What What do you think about the USU's online strategy? Because they've recently changed the website, as I'm sure you know. Uh, do you yeah. think they're going in a good direction? What sort of What sort of things would you look to change about the USU's online? Uh, frankly speaking, I ain't a big fan of the new redesign. Being a software student, yeah. So 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 yeah. The website, it's it's not like, it doesn't feel up to the mark of like a 2023 software. It should be like smoother, faster and like one of my key thoughts was like, we have this USU reward membership, right? So integrating that card into like an Apple Pay in the wallets. So you just have to tap it whenever you have to use it. That will be like pretty more convenient because the major issues I face and people I talked about, whenever they are trying to scan the card, it, it crashes. So the main key area of improvement was stability first and then major other design changes and making it more accessible to other people, maybe with people with disabilities, yeah. And since we're like talking about like the technological uses of USU yeah. and stuff, do you think USU has a transparency issue? As in, what steps would you take to make the USU more transparent in the way it takes or like, like the data or the way it has like users camera in pre like private USU board meetings and stuff? So yeah, I think USU is pretty transparent at the moment. So they publish all the meeting minutes online. Yeah, the, the thing that needs to be transparent, that's pretty much like, yeah. An additional step would be like, I would like to maybe make the meeting public, like public audience a physical appearance, like people can sit there instead of like just publishing it online. And yeah, the policy, I think they are pretty much in place. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the next step would be like in-person appearances of people, they can like just come into meetings anytime. Do you think, because uh, a lot of your policies seem to focus on collaborating with the uni, yeah. do you think the uni is open to collaborating with the USU and the uni, uh, do you think the uni adequately prioritises or be opening, would be open to prioritise the sort of student initiatives that you talk about in your campaign? I think they should be open to, they should get, yeah, because like, we play, like, students are the heart of the uni, right? So they sh if they are not, like, we should push them with them and it will be the job of the directors to make them open to partnerships yeah that's where we come in um so the staff had recently like yeah. called off the 72 hour strike in week 10 um but during strikes a lot of like non-usu vendors like say uni bros and yeah. some other cafes were still open in campus um how do you think usu comes into play with this as in like what sort of action can they take especially when like supporting the strikes in general yeah, if they're supporting the strikes in general, yeah, they should like ask the outlet to like if there if there's a strike to so, like comply with it. Yeah, but I think it will be a tough job because after all they're independent people and it will be like pretty tough convincing everyone individually. But yeah, they should. What else do, do you think the uni should uh, the, the USU should do other things regarding regarding strikes? Should they should they put out statements supporting the strikes or do any other measures to support the staff strikes? Yeah, they, they, should, they, they, they should support the staff strike and at least give them a place to like put their concerns to like, oh, uh, because it's their right and yeah, they should listen more actively and engage on it and like, yeah, strike shouldn't happen in the first place. So like they should, if after a first strike, they shouldn't be repeated in strike, they should listen to the thing what they're demanding about and yeah, and try to settle with them, with their legal demands. Yeah, correct ones. Why do you think the student Students voting for the USU and student participation and the USU and the university more general. Why, why do you think that sort of student democracy is important? So yeah, the student unionism is a pretty part of uni culture. And with student and with them voting in the student union culture, it, it the main job is to like keep the uni in check. And so that the policies which the uni policy makers make are in, are, are in alignment with the, what the student wants and not with their own personal benefits. And yeah, so it's a pretty integral part. I was just wondering, what do you think the role of the USU should be in promoting like activism? Because we've talked about the strikes, do you think the USU should be uh, take stances on social issues uh, of, all, of all kinds? It should, because like, yeah, 
after all those social issues are linked with us in one way or the another they affect us like either directly or indirectly so yeah it should take stance and do you think it has a good enough job of that at the moment or does it do it at all it does a job but it can be better mm. it, it's not the best one of your promises is to increase access to counseling on services and mental health support. Yeah. Um, this is something which is candidates have promised for quite a few years now. Yeah. I'm sure other candidates in the selection are also promising it. What do you think, is, like, what could you think you can do as a, as a director to, to, make, to make that happen? Yeah. So you, you say it provides mental health support at the moment via Sonder. My uh, Sonder is like the app in which they provide the mental health support and stuff and well-being thing. Yeah. My, my, my main idea is to like, merge that into the USU app itself and make it the center place for everything. So like if a person, if a student say has some issues, mental health issues, and they need support, they just open the USU app and that's on the end, the, those, those USU support, you need support things are linked with that. Just go type your thing and yeah, you are, you are in touch with the counselor, making it more accessible and yeah. And organizing, and organizing more in-person sessions, just related to general open counseling. Like uh, counselors are there and they are like, you go get a private session with them. Yeah. and save some of whatever you feel like, yeah. In-person sessions will help, I guess. Okay. Currently there's a five, I think I understand there's a five session limit on counselling appointments through the university. Yeah. Uh, would you support raising that? How yeah. do you think the USU should go about? I think I should, I will support raising that. And like we, uh, the point is people are not aware. Use USU does so many social media campaigns and posters, there should be one about that. That if you want mental health support, you can like say Ventworth, come to Ventworth building and you'll get the support you need. So there should be more awareness. Yeah, and would you have like more like third party organizations like say Batia or Sonda yeah. on campus for like the mental health support they have or like how would you extend the type of support they have for our students because from my understanding a lot of it's either online or like paid to some extent so how do we make that more accessible for students who might not I think the budget of the uni and the U should get should get should be spent on counseling services yeah. and the part which student have to pay is mental counseling services should be free. That should be paid by the uni mm -hmm. and the SSA feminity fee should be like utilized to that for some extent. And, and like Sonda, the issue is it's just online, right? We should we should be having like on-campus counselors for like say every building, every major building, say like the Fisher Library, there's a counseling department, you go there, there are some counselors, you talk to them and yeah. I think we should ask, what sets you apart from other candidates uh, and why should students vote for you? What sets me apart? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah. The cultural diversity and like, yeah, my international background that I'm bringing on the table, like I know what challenges international students face and I can also link those with like not not completely but yeah what indigenous students face so yeah I can I can empathize with them better and yeah when I'm making my policies and working towards my goals I can keep that in mind so yeah that set me apart.